Akbar Sheik explains the top mistakes that most marketers make in business. And we're getting ready to get into that right now. Stick around, you don't want to miss this. Yo, what is up? Zachary Babcock here, former drug addict, spent over five years of my life in prison, turned underdog entrepreneur and the Prove Em Wrong prodigy, and a top 200 rated podcast host on iTunes. What is up? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you want the best tips on how to turbocharge your lead generation and customer acquisition, hit the bell notification, or subscribe and hit the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. All right, with that out the way, we're about to dive into an awesome interview on some key mistakes that you're gonna to wanna to avoid as a marketer in business um, that you definitely just don't wanna do. Uh, from my man Akbar Sheik, which is, uh, he is a Two Comma Club award winner, multiple Two Comma Club award winner in ClickFunnels, which means he's made over a million dollars with one funnel multiple times inside of ClickFunnels. Uh, dude's a baller, knows a lot about marketing, so I hope you enjoy this video, uh, interview. Let's dive right into it. What are some key things, you know, that, you, that you've that you mastered in these timeless, you know, uh, tactics and marketing stuff that you've used to generate traffic and to make sales online bro it, it, it's honestly super simplistic man the first thing is like most people they want to be again and, and i keep and like you know all due respect i keep picking on like the social media guys and i'm just i'm just using them as an example so all due respect to anyone in the social media world but like okay what is the name of these guys man these uh they're not consultant what are these guys that run facebook ads for you digital like marketer facebook Digital marketer? Yeah, digital marketer, whatever. The, yeah, 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 digital marketer. Yeah. <laughs> so, so like a digital marketer, right? Um, every Tom, Dick, and Harry wants to be a digital marketer, right? <laughs> I ask oh, I ask them. They go, can you help me? Like, well, well, okay, sure. I mean, like, you, how good are you on Facebook? Oh, you know. Guess what your, guess what your revenue is going to look like? <laughs> you know, first of all, you got to crush it in whatever, in whatever it is you want to do. That, that's number one. Number two, if you don't want to crush it, you got to get someone who crushes it, right? So if you're doing Facebook ads, you need to hire someone who's awesome. You know, something's got to be awesome in it because that's that's how you get customers is from showing results. You know, it's from showing that, hey, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm doing. You know, you can start with nothing like I did. Now look at all the stuff we got on the wall. You know, I mean, I was literally homeless not too long ago. Um, not too long ago, man. I think it was like a, right around two years ago. I bought an electric toothbrush for myself, or no, sorry, it's a water pick for my teeth. My wife returned it because she said we couldn't afford it. We couldn't. I didn't care. I just, I just bought it anyway. But um, things can change, and they can change quickly. You know, I had to buy my first born a used car seat. I don't have any money. It's disgusting. Imagine how I felt. Um, when my wife's cleaning it and she found a used Band-Aid in there, you know, um, that was not too long ago. My oldest kid's around two years old. You know what I mean? So it was not too long ago. Uh, things change and they can change very quickly. So that's the first thing, man, is you got to master something. And, 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 and the good news is it really doesn't take long, right? It really doesn't take long. I mean, I like to lead with results, man. So if you're doing, you know, whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is, whether your health, wealth, um, what is it? Health, wealth, and love, right? No matter what you're doing, no matter what industry you're in, get some results first. And then you have something to work with. Be like, hey, we've helped 18 people get, we have a, we have a unique method. Um, we've, had, we've helped 18 people get a six pack within the past 90 days. Uh, you want to be next? You know what I mean? You want to try it? Uh, you know, for example, so if you show some social proof, that helps a lot. Um, and, and that's just one tip. You know, there's so many things that people are doing wrong. Um, that's one tip. I'll tell you another major one that people are really royally screwing up is the messaging. Like, I'll go to their website or funnel or whatever, and I'll see the headline. And I'll be like, dude, what do you sell? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I saw this realtor today. Talented realtor. Talented realtor. Went to a Facebook profile, and it says, um, it says I'm a dad of four. Um... Uh, and I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a New York realtor, right? I'm a dad of four New York realtor. Now, if I didn't know this person, I would never reach out to them. Never, in a million years. Why should I? Why should I? Um, if they changed it to, hey, dad of four, if you really want to tell us you're dad of four, which doesn't really mean anything to me, but 
He said, data for award-winning uh, real estate agent. Or if you said, hey, uh, I'm the agent that gets you houses under market value. I'm like, yep, that's exactly what I want. Ding, click, contact. You know, in other words, are you giving people a reason to read on, to contact you, to buy from you? Most people are not. Most of the funnels I see, are they're, they're not. So that's a phenomenal um, start, is to really fine tune your messaging, to speak to your core audience so that when they hear that, they're like, yep, that's me, click. It just becomes an automated thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, so like, you know, that's something that I struggled with all of 2017 was just trying to find my niche, you know, and I was like, ah, I, I can help everybody. And I just wasn't, I wasn't hitting anybody because I was too broad. You know, I was like, it started off as I could do personal development for entrepreneurs. Like who, you know, who, are, who what does that even mean? You know, that's anybody, you know, it's not relate. Nobody's like, it's not speaking to anyone. When I finally came to, uh, I'm going to, and I'm going to help underdog entrepreneurs achieve their business goals you know that is more specific so like on my facebook profile for instance it says uh, i'm the guy that underdog entrepreneurs call when they want to achieve their business goals after getting stuck like like you mentioned that messaging is actually like it, it relates to somebody they know to take the action so once you have that messaging um, what are, you, you know, you mentioned that you got to master something like, obviously you got to master something in your business, but as far as sales and marketing, like, do you have to master every single thing about sales and every single thing about like, you know, how an offer you got all the, you know, you got to hit the scarcity, you know, you got to hit the call, like all this stuff. Do you got to, do you got to master all that? Or is there like one specific thing that you just want to get really good at? That's a good question. I mean, I, like the more, the more. Here's the thing, man. Do what you do best, outsource the rest. You know what I mean? Like, if you're not good at copy, hire a copywriter. You know what I mean? A copywriter will be an expert. A good copywriter will be an expert in all that. Do you know what I mean? Um, if you're not an expert at asking people to give you a testimony, then get your get your admin to do it. Do you know what I mean? But all like the more of the stuff you do, the more you're gonna make, right? So if you're not an email expert, get some tech person to 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 install your emails. You know. Um, if you're not an expert salesperson, hire a salesperson, you know, concentrate on what you do best and then outsource the rest. And you got to be doing that from day one, right? Because too, too many people wear too many hats, you know, and it's just not going to work like that. Just, you're just setting yourself up for failure. You know, be like, oh, I do sales or oh, I do marketing or oh, I do the copy. You're going to burn out. You're definitely not doing all of them effectively. You know, there's other people out there that are doing that could do it better. So. I think that I think that's very important. Yeah, man, I love that. You know, that, that double down on your strengths. That's a key point that you make right there. And for the underdog entrepreneur that you know can't outsource right away, that has to do everything themselves in the beginning stages. You know, uh, would you say to just I disagree with that, though, bro? I disagree with that. And I'll tell you why. Because like a VA, right? And I and I come from from nothing, right? Um, a VA, bro, like on Upwork or something. They're costing you like five ish dollars an hour and you can get them for two hours a week. If you can't afford ten dollars a, a week or twenty dollars a week or something like that or fifty dollars a week, you're not really an entrepreneur in all honesty. I'll tell you, I'll be very frank with you. You're just not an entrepreneur. So you can afford from day one a VA. And like what I did is I started a couple hours a week, then part time a week, then full time. Now it's gotten to the point where it's full time in house. You know, uh, where I had an assistant full time in house, just hired another one who I wanted in house, but they, they live about 20 minutes away. So you got to have that mentality from day one. All right. Were there any aha moments? Were there any game changer moments? Was there anything that gave you more clarity on what to do moving forward? And were there anything, any of these, did that, did it make sense? Were, were, were you making any of these mistakes in the past? If you found this content helpful, give it a thumbs up right now and let me know about any aha moments that you had uh in the comments below if this video sucked and it just was like man it, it, I, would, I, I shouldn't even be watching this this was a waste of my time give me a thumbs down and let me know about it in the comments down below don't worry you're not going to hurt my feelings i really do want your honest and sincere feedback because i want to be a good youtuber and i want to make good videos that you want to watch and that are helpful to you so your feedback does help me out with that being said if you're not already subscribed to this channel and if you want the best tips 
on how to turbocharge your lead generation and customer acquisition. Hit the bell or subscribe, hit the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys on the next video. And in the meantime, if you wanna check out some more videos, for lead generation customer acquisition. I'm gonna share them with you right now. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. Oh, it is that underdog empowerment. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell.